The new school year underway for some, quickly approaching for other students, but the heat in no hurry to head out. So how do school systems and transportation directors beat the heat? Courtney Giacobazzi takes us to Lawrence County to search for some answers. Soon, Lawrence County buses will start their engines for the new school year. It was dreadful. I hated it. An experience Hunter Clay is glad her little sister won't have to worry about this year. I don't want her to like have to experience the kind of heat that I had to on the bus. Buses that can run a high temperature. That's what a bus will feel like on a typical day sitting at school with the windows up. Now this bus has been sitting in the sun for several hours and it's one that doesn't have AC. I've only been in here for a few minutes and I'm already sweating. So let's check out the temperature here. Over 100 degrees. Greg Paldo is the Transportation Information Director for Lawrence County Schools and says some kids sit on the buses for over an hour. And most routes are on the east side of town. Your routes are ending about 4 o'clock and on the west side of your river, your latest route, that should be about 4.35 p.m. With the last three years being warmest on record, Kristen Powell, who also once rode buses in Lawrence County, worries for today's students. Kind of hurts my heart, kind of um, makes me worry for them uh, a little bit more, um, especially because it is getting hotter. However, doors are opening to a new era of buses that are much, well, cooler. So this is one of the newer buses, the one that of course comes with AC installed. Let's compare the temperature of the seats in this bus with the other one. Around 78 degrees. A bus without AC has a price tag of around $80,000, but one with air conditioning? With the air conditioning, we're paying about $91,000. In Bibb County, 80 buses have AC, in Houston, only a few. For Lawrence County? Over half of them got air that's running routes. Turning down the heat. No kid likes to feel like that. And turning up the AC. In Lawrence County. It would be wonderful for us, the driver, the kids. Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. And more good news, Lawrence County will get nine more air-conditioned buses this year and will hand out water bottles to students on the buses that don't have AC.